Hi there, it's Fabian Leblanc speaking and this is a demo for the AMAP Utilities version 0.2. So, you downloaded the scripts at AE Scripts, just drop them into your Script UE panels. You can find them on your hard drive, applications, Adobe After Effects, Scripts, Script UE panels. And if you're on Windows, just get the path from the overlay. If you're not sure how to install scripts, uh, just have a look at the tutorial on ascripts.com. So, you drop them in there, then you can find them under Window, AE Map Utilities, and here we go. You get some different tools here, like the sequencer, 3D and collapse, saturation, back expressions, the tiny tools, and the settings. And I'm gonna walk you through all of them. First, the sequencer. It's pretty easy. Um, you can define a frame offset, like 10 frames or 25 frames, how you like it. Select the layers you want to sequence and hit the sequence selection button. And there you go, they're sequenced. The next one, 3D and collapse. If you don't check this checkbox, to use this script, it's the same like setting all those uh, options here. But if you use the precomps uh, checkbox, it will step into every precomp and try to set the collapse and the 3D options for every layer he finds. If you don't want a layer to be collapsed, you have to lock them first so he won't do it. So, just select these layers and hit Collapse on 3D. There you go. As you can see, the locked layers don't get collapsed. Everything else is collapsed and has a 3D option. This supports undo. So if you only select one and you just leave the 3D out, he collapses and also he collapses inside. And he tries to step into every precomp. You should use this before you do animation. It could mess up your work. Set duration. As you can see, I got a bunch of layers here, like camera layers, shape layers, text layers, everything you could have in After Effects. And if you want to set a new duration for them, you can decide if you want to use seconds or frames. I'll just keep it at one frame right now. Um, Select the layers and hit set duration. There you go, one frame. It also steps into the precoms and makes them uh, change the duration you chose. You can define the calculation base frame rate, but this won't change the frame rate of your comp. This is just for calculating from frames to seconds, like now we got one second and if you want to calculate back, oh. read the warnings if you need to. <laughs> back expressions. If you have some expressions you need to bake because they're hugging too much render power, just select the layers you want to bake. Uncheck the checkbox and hit Bake Expressions. And you're done. This supports also Undo. If you want to uh, bake only some specific expressions, just check the checkbox, select the expressions and hit Bake Expressions. And there you go. You only bake the ones you need it. Pretty easy. The tiny tools. With the tiny tools you got some one-shot scripts that do some tiny work for you. First of all, name to source. You have some layers with a, a different layer name than the source name. Just select them in the comp, hit name to source, and as you can see, 
they changed their name, changed their name in the projects panel. The source to name does the same thing, but he takes the name from the project and gives them to your layer in your comp. Pretty easy. Mark up a frame. You just have to set your work area how you want it. Hit mark up a frame and he adds a marker per every frame. Mark up a precomp. If you have a precomp with some layers in it and you want to see where they start, just select the comp you want and hit mark up a precomp. And as you can see, he made a marker at the in point of every precomp and uh, added the name of the layer to it. Zorro to text. With Zorro to text, you can dump uh, Zorro comments into your comp as text layers. For that, if you want a special text type, just set your character settings first. And select the layers, hit Zorro to text, and there you go. It removes the asterisk that Zorro uses to uh, detect comments and removes the comma. Uh, so if you got some asterisk and some commas in your comments and you, and you didn't make them with Zorro, it, you could run into some problems. But it does it pretty quick. Here under undefined, you just have a button where you can put in some own scripts. And uh, what else? Cam with Dolly. Just hit it. And if you have some 3D layers, you can see he builds a cam with a Dolly for you. There's already some expression controller on your dolly, so you can add some wiggle expression to your camera. And there you go. Camera wiggles. The last one, new render location. For that, I have to bring up the render queue. And as you can see in the render queue, I got here uh, some comps. And I got lots of output modules, and uh, I don't want to set them by hand. So, and I need different folders for everything. So I just queue those I want to use, or I want to uh, set a new render location. Hit new render lock, select your folder where you want them. Uh, give them a name, new, and you're done. What he did was, here's our folder. What he did was create for every output module a folder with the name of a comp. So now everything is gonna get, go in there. If you already have a folder where all these folders exist and you hit again new render location, select the output folder uh, already ex exists with his uh, subfolders. He won't create new folders. So he will take the folder that is there with the same name. And the last one, the settings. First of all, you have to allow the script to access the network and uh, so he can open the online help and that's what the settings do. You hit it and you will be directly uh, and he will directly open the online help. That's it. Have fun, fiddle around with it and if you make something beautiful, just show me.